Formula One was applied to even out the hair colour before colouring. Divide a circular section around the top of the head. Isolate the fringe area. Create a horseshoe separation that begins at the extremity of the eyebrow and runs around the roundness of the head to the other extremity of the opposite eyebrow. The transversal line defines two other side and back side sections within the section. Apply Milkshake Color Specific's powerful protector to protect the scalp from possible irritation or redness and avoid staining the skin without altering the colouring action on the hair. Protect the hairline by using the new Z1 Concept Soft Stripes. Colour fully from roots to ends by applying Formula 2. Starting from the right back area, make a parallel separation, dividing the section into two subsections to define the proportions and obtain four distinct sections. Colour the first back section by applying Formula 2 on the roots, and with the milkshake colour board, apply Formula 3 to lengths and ends, intersecting the colour vertically. Thanks to the new Milkshake Color Specifics Color Split Additive, we can create multi-tone coloring without using foils. Color Split creates a barrier, protects, and allows to overlap different shades without smearing or staining. Continue with the next section, colouring the roots with Formula 2 and lengths and ends using Formula 4, intersecting the two shades. Proceed over the entire section alternating in this way.
Repeat this alternation of shades or colour sequencing in the left back section. Subdivide the front right section into two subsections with a parallel line to define the proportions and obtain four sections. Starting from the first subsection, colour the roots using Formula 2 and the lengths and ends using Formula 4, intersecting the two shades. Complete the section by moving on to the next section, colouring the roots with Formula 2 and the lengths and ends using Formula 3. Repeat the same procedure and colour sequence in the left side section. Colour the entire circular section using Formula 2. Using horizontal separations, subdivide the fringe area and alternating the application technique used in the side sections, colour the first strand, applying Formula 2 on the roots and Formula 3 on lengths and ends, and then move on to the next strand, applying Formula 2 on the roots and Formula 4 on the lengths and ends. Alternate the two formulas until the entire section has been completed.